Morning guys. It's uh, seven in the morning right now. I just finished a run here in beautiful Sydney, Australia. A little bit jet lag, so today I woke up at 4 a.m. and uh, had a productive day so far. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful morning right now in Sydney, Australia. Just finished an awesome workout. And right now I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the Airbnb that we're staying at right now. I'm staying here for another day or so, but then we're gonna to bounce to Bondi Beach and spend some time there. Then we're going to Melbourne, Fiji, Gold Coast. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty eventful trip, but I'll give you guys a quick tour and show you guys around the place that I'm staying. All right, so here we got the patio, beautiful view. And uh, we went for a, an awesome run this morning on the wharf. But loving the weather so far. Been uh, starting off my morning ritual here. Read my book. Got my Kindle right there. All right, here's the living dining room. So there's another area over here that's good for reading. Awesome ocean view. Here we got the kitchen. It's pretty cool. We actually have an elevator that comes right directly into the room, or right, right directly into the apartment. So it's pretty cool. And down here we got the bedrooms. There's a washroom over there. And Tatiana's in there. Alright guys, right now we're at one of our favorite restaurants here at the Bondi Junction in Australia. It's called Earth to Table. And this here is a raw food, um, plant-based restaurant. Really healthy food. Uh, whenever we travel, we always try to make sure that we find really healthy spots. And this has been one of our go-tos. And all the food here is raw, plant-based, uh, sugar-free, gluten-free, uh, sorry? Wheat-free, wheat like really, really amazing healthy food. So we'll show you guys uh, inside and some of the food that they got. Got some healthy smoothies here. This is the pink dragon from Blue Magique. Really healthy ingredients. All right guys, here's one thing that Australia is a little bit behind on than in North America. Right here is a video store. I haven't seen one of these in like five years uh, back in Canada or the US. And uh, people still go to rent movies here in Australia. You know, it's kind of weird because now there's Netflix and streaming and video on demand. But, you know, I guess they're a little bit behind when it comes to renting movies and whatnot. They shall bring on as we that are left for our own. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn them. At the going out of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Lest we forget.
We're here right now at a rugby match here in Sydney. We're seeing the Roosters play the Dragons. I don't know. I'm not sure if you should be petting him. right now at the Featherdale Wildlife Park in Sydney, Australia. And this, I think, is a baby kangaroo. We were playing with the uh, wallabies as well, but uh, it's amazing. You can get up close, you can pet them. Super soft. So cute. Food? They like fruits, I think. Ow! Ow! It's like biting me. Why do people eat these things? I don't understand. Do they have teeth? They, all they eat is shrubs and grass. This one doesn't lick, it bites. I think he's trying to get the food faster than the other one. So cute, so cute. All right, so I found some kangaroos here. Oh. Yeah, this one is uh, pretty jumpy. Hi. Can you open up? No, 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 you gotta flatten your hand. Hey, got some more food for you.
I can't fit both of you this in the This one's really, really gentle. Not when the other one was there. He's like, he's getting all the food while all the other ones are distracted. Ow. Yeah, Grab now it's like not that. gentle. Because. found a bunch of red kangaroos that are just kind of hanging out all over the place and it's really cool because they're really friendly and uh, they'll come up to you and you can feed them and you can pet them they uh, don't bite but they've got uh, pretty sharp claws so this guy right here let's get him over here come on some food This guy. Super soft. Here, come over here. Oh, <laughs> this guy just come came right up. They basically just eat shrubs. Is this your friend here? Yeah. Hi. They're so friendly. This is my friend. I've named him Fred. <laughs> Probably already has a name. What's your name? Kangaroo Jack. Hi, Kangaroo. Right now we're so outside the Sydney Opera House, which is a popular tourist attraction here in Sydney. Right there behind me. And right there is a, a famous bridge. And there's actually a lot of people that uh, can go up and climb the bridge and get this awesome view. Pretty cool. So you can actually see a bunch of people up there climbing it. Right there. Pretty high up.
Alright, right now I'm just getting ready for a live stream for my Life Mastery Accelerator members. Right now I'm in a studio uh, that my friend let me here in Sydney, Australia. I'll show you guys real quick. I uh, got my, my camera uh, equipment, my laptop, everything set up here. Got a whiteboard back here as well, but uh, my friend is an abundance coach and uh, this is his office slash studio that he's allowing me to use for my online business mastery accelerator stream and my life mastery accelerator stream, which is our monthly uh, mentoring and coaching program that I have where I help people uh, improve every aspect of their life. So I'll give you guys a quick tour and show you guys around the, around the space. All right, so here I got my laptop set up. This is uh, set up with Wirecast. So this is set up with my camera right here so I can see what's going on and I can stream to the internet. Got my tea, all my cables and everything set up that I brought. Uh, this is my, my camera bag, all my camera equipment. Uh, I have to bring my tripods and everything with me. Uh, traveling, it's just part of my, my business. Um, got different lights set up. It's my friend uh, Scott teaches the life language communication uh, breakthrough workshop, which he actually did for us the other day, which is pretty cool. There's abundance coaching. He's got his computer set up. Friend Scott's also done a lot of uh, a lot of coaching and speaking. Did a Toastmasters for 12 years, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is a little setup, and we got the whiteboard here. And yeah, just getting ready to go. Got a few more minutes uh, for my last stream.